Shalom, royal family. The class you are about to hear is taught by the Honorable Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe, many years ago. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at www.yahweh144000.com. Also, royal family, you can enroll in classes designed for the Godhead at www.universityofyahweh.org. Enjoy. Then you'll discover that you can't be saved without this name. That if you call on any other name, you won't be saved. This is the only name under heaven whereby men can be saved. Job chapter 9, verse 10. Green. Which doeth great things past finding out, yea, and wonders without number. Now, when you get to vegetarian wonders, you still have not approached <laughs> his wonders. When you name the vegetarians wonder, it's like you haven't gotten started. Because his wonders are without number. Meaning you, as far as you can go, forever, in infinity, you'll discover he still has wonders without number. I wonder how Yahweh did that. I wonder how he did that. I wonder. You'll wonder forever. And at the end of forever, you'll still have wonders forever. And ever, and ever, and ever. He doesn't just do things, he does great things. Yeah. Past finding out. That means no matter how smart you think you are, you'll never find out how Yahweh does these great things. How Yahweh make the sun. That's a great thing. I'm afraid that's past your finding out. <laughs> and you want to call yourself smart? Well, how did Yahweh create the sun? Why does not the sun burn up? Or you can try to name the process, but how? You heard what I said. How? Why does it not burn up? And it's going to go out one day. When? <laughs> Pass that it out. How? When was it created? Oh, some billions of years ago. How do you know? What's your evidence? Were you there? Then what, what, how do you stand here and tell me that? What's your authority? I declare to you, it's past finding out. So shut up. Talk about how many eons a year. Just shut up. I prove to the world you're speaking out of your head. You are out of control. Without knowledge of the maker, the creator. What a man that does great things past finding out. And does wonder without number. That's my man. Now the man that tells me how to live, that's done all these things, I think I would count it wise for me to do that. I'm sure he's the best knower of what I ought to eat. How he created what I eat is a wonder. 
and a great thing. The same ground with one seed brings up a sweet fruit, and the same ground will bring up a fruit that's bitter. Same ground. That's a wonder. And that's a great thing, past finding out. <laughs> and I, I accept the man that could do this, knows what is best for me to ingest or eat or take into my body. And when, my, when I have made some mistakes in following Yahweh and broke his law, then he is also the best one to tell me how to get back on track. Because if something is wrong with your body, something happened somewhere. Now, if you didn't cause it, maybe your mother did it. Maybe your mother did something wrong. And if your mother didn't do anything wrong, then maybe your grandmother did. And if she didn't, maybe your great-grandmother did. Because you're paying the price for somebody doing something wrong somewhere. And see, you may not be at fault at all, but some of those folk in front of you did some outlandish things in Yahweh, against Yahweh. And then the third and the fourth generation down the line pay the price. Now, our parents and foreparents that spend the 310 years in slavery direct. See, somebody did something wrong. And they paid the price. And then it was written that at the end of the 400 years of suffering and being afflicted in America, that one would come to relieve us of our affliction. And I'm here bearing the name Yahweh who talked to Abraham to do just what I promised. What a blessing. Now when we can look out and see that one of us is afflicted or one of us have a disease or one of us have a sickness or one of us have a problem with the product that Yahweh created at one time in perfection, when we see it imperfect, it's enough to put the fear of Yahweh in us. Huh? Or, or it should be. Yahweh let us see death to appreciate his power to give life. See, I don't know about you, but I'm just glad to be alive. Sometimes Yahweh let one be sick so the rest of us know I better do what Yahweh say so I won't be sick. Or so my child or my grandchild or my great-grandchild won't be sick. I better keep the law because I don't want that to come up on somebody that I feel close to. I don't want any blood on my head, so I think I better do what Yahweh say because I can see he will surely punish those who are disobedient. I got the evidence. It's right in my face. I see that. In the meantime, I'm here to reform regenerate and repair heal your sickness your affliction now most of us when we think about healing we only think of body we don't have another thought we really don't we, we only think of sugar or arthritis or lumbago or gout cataract, you know, something that's physical that you can see direct. That's because we're so carnal minded. What brings on a physical sickness is that your mind is out of order. Your mind's out of control. Somebody's mind. Hallelujah, way. So to be truly healed is to start at the source. But you got to recognize this name first. This mysterious name. Yahweh. Job chapter 9 verse 11. Read. 
Lo, he goeth by me, and I see him not. He passeth on also, but I perceive him not. <laughs> I told you earlier that I would prove that Yahweh can go right by you and you don't see him. Does that mean he's a spirit? He's invisible? No! Walking, I walk right by you. You're sitting in your seat looking at me now and you cannot see me. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Unless you know who I am. Yes, to see me is to know who I am. Yes, and if you don't know who I am, you cannot see me. And here it is, right in this book. Yahweh goes right by you. You see him now. He passes on also, but you don't perceive. You don't perceive me? Don't understand you don't comprehend. Isn't that a tragedy to have God in your presence and you can't perceive that he is? Is it not a tragedy to think that God can walk right by you? And your mind can't see him. Your spirit can't see him. And the whole world wants to see God. And you have God right in your midst. And to not see him, for the tragedy. Everybody's waiting on the sun to return. But the book says when he returns, the world won't see him. John 1 10. Come on. The maker of the world in the world. Right in the world, walking around among the world, and the world can't understand, can't comprehend, cannot see, cannot perceive. Read. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Now, in my Bible, that says, recognizes him not. That the world does not recognize him. Recon if you don't recognize somebody, it's, it's like not knowing. It's like he's in a disguise. He's, he's alive, but you don't recognize him. He's, he's living, but you don't recognize him. He walks up and knocks on your door and stands in right in front of you and talks to you, but you don't recognize him. See, he's still real because you don't recognize him doesn't make him unreal. He's not invisible in the sense that you've been taught ghosts and spooks, but he's standing right there in a physical sense, and you can't perceive this is God. Thank you for listening, Royal Family. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Praise Yud Hey Wafe. Have a glorious day in Yud Hey Wafe. Shalom, Royal Family.